going today to visit Rynak. So the prices here are cheaper. <laughs> Fire! Fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I opened it, I said, oh my god, if you are rude, no one give you discount. Well, let's go to see how looks Russian Rynak. Today I invite you to Lyubertsy Farmers Market in Russia. You can see guys, it's a very uh, authentic and special place. And today I will teach you, I will show you how you can keep your money, don't be cheating and how much cost products. And we will compare guys with you uh, Farmers Market. Rynak, and we will compare it with supermarket. So let's figure out uh, when it is better. So let's go. What is the difference between this kind of market and this supermarket? So tip number one. Tip number one that all food and all products here fresh. They all uh, from local um, companies. So it means that if you go to supermarket, you will buy products from different kind of companies from uh, no, like which we import. All Russian producers provide this kind of food. And what is good, for example, you can see honey, the miot. It's what I like here that uh, you have a bigger choice than uh, if you go to supermarket. So you can see it's actually very, 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 very big. And guys, what you have to know if you uh, go to Russian open air market. Advantages is I said that it's the prices here cheaper than in supermarket, then all products cost um, less and uh, all products fresh. But disadvantages that on the market you can be cheated. What is important that how much cost price depends on how you look. Yeah, so if you go to Russian uh, open air market, Rynak, try don't uh, look like rich because uh, all products, they don't have fixed price. Maybe it's advantages, maybe it's disadvantages. Uh, because when you go to supermarket, you have fixed price, like you buy cucumbers, you see how much cost and take it. But here you don't know, you never know the price. You ask how much cost, сколько стоит, and person see, look at you, oh, you look rich, and they will tell you much more higher price. So try dress simple. Uh, tip number three, guys, which you have to know, never buy products from the main first line because first line uh, always here prices much more higher so no let's see for example how much cost uh, the uh, strawberry cost 650 uh, rubles so guys you can see this is russian products uh, this is very popular what we can buy here so it's uh, you can see everything fresh did a сколько стоит у вас редис 100 рублей да Mm -hmm. So 100 rubles uh, redis. А чеснок? 50. 50. Uh, чеснок 500 mm -hmm. rubles. Три штуки 100 рублей. Три штуки 100 рублей. Uh -huh. So guys, you can see if uh, you buy three pieces, you will get discount and it will be cost three pieces 100 rubles. So and guys, if you buy more, uh, they give you discount. So it depends on how you communicate with. Uh, people and also guys be friendly and find friends okay for example if you come first time on the market uh, of course no one will give you discount and people can increase the price but if you go uh, every week let's say you find friends you can communicate and uh, you will get discount so guys you can see uh, prices uh, mushrooms all prices is writing for one kilo mushrooms 200 rubles tomatoes 120 klukva the berries uh, 380 80 rubles, mandarins 200 rubles, apples 100, 120, and cucumbers 150, one kilo. Uh, здравствуйте. А скажите, пожалуйста, откуда ваши овощи? Овощи из Угу. А они сколько стоят? Они 180. 180. Самые Есть дорогие. У нас Ростовская область тоже помидоров хорошая. Угу. Это Ростовская это область. Это Ростовская область. Угу. Хорошо, спасибо вам большое. Да, спасибо. да, будем к вам приходить. So as you can see, this lady, she was very friendly, thanks a lot to her that she introduced her product. So let's go. Rynak is working from Monday till Sunday. Actually, it's working every day. 
Sometimes Monday can be holiday, but usually people work from 8 till 8. Uh, they don't accept here uh, bank cards. That's why, of course, very important to take cash with yourself if you want to buy something. And uh, very important what I want to tell you guys, how not to be cheated on uh, the market, because um, why well, you can be cheated? No, first of all, all these people who are selling a product, they all um, self-employ. Uh, so they are, like we say in Russian language, samazaneti, so it's people who registered their own companies and they decide how much cost. Because if you go to supermarket, they have fixed price. Here they don't have free, fixed price and they can tell you high price or low price. Also, what is the difference between Rinak and supermarket? That in supermarket, you can take um, food by your own so you can choose like where is the better apple here no one give you the choice and what kind of cheating can be here so you come to vitrine and you see oh i like this uh, tomatoes you ask the price it also happened with me one time not in this market in another and i said okay give me please one kilo and the seller will not take uh, tomatoes which is in front of you they open some box take tomatoes and give you. Guys, I didn't know it, yes. And when I came back home and I opened it, I said, oh my God, like it was uh, half was good and half was not good. It was terrible. It was uh, not fresh tomatoes. And the problem is that I can't give it back because in supermarket also you can buy some products. Maybe you are so busy, you take it fast. Then you come back home and you see that this product is not good. You can back right to the supermarket and they give you money back here no one give you money back that's why i guess it's very important what i highly recommend you is that you need to uh, prepare for visiting market uh, that people can cheat you so take food and check is everything good or not Once that it's cold here right if you go to supermarket uh, it's uh, warm you feel comfortable and buy products but here you must be ready that everything cold here and uh, especially it became complicated to buy food here in winter time so guys uh, i want to show you next section i showed you the video how much cost uh, food and products in supermarket so here i will click uh, the link also i will write in the description of the video and you can uh, watch this video and to see how to buy food in Russian supermarket and how much cost and uh, now guys uh, let's compare the prices with uh, Russian supermarket and uh, uh, open air farmers market for example uh, let's see fish um, we can see how much cost fish in supermarket and here let's see uh, what kind of prices uh, we see that carp uh, carp it's Russian fish cost 500 rubles for one kilo. Carp. Carp, it's Russian white fish, cost 469 rubles. So guys, you can see uh, here, uh, Siomga, Farel, they are from uh, Russia, other kind of fish like Sudak from Turkey, and live carps also from Russia. And this kind of food from Russia, carp, Talstalop, Shuka, it's typical Russian. And also we have guys, let's see, Raki in Russian language, it's a little lobsters. They're from Volga River here. I will show you uh, the video, the picture, when you can see how looks beautiful uh, Russian Volga. And also guys, when you buy uh, some kind of uh, food, or fish, also you can see a lot of, a lot of spices. So it means that you can use these spices for cooking um, any kind of dishes uh, here you can buy not only food all types of food uh, also you can buy local uh, products i really highly recommend you uh, let's have a look look at this this is typical russian tapachki tapachki means slippers and because it's going uh, to be cold soon uh, we russian people buy this and all these things uh, no some people 
things can be from China, but most of things handmade. And you can see it's very warm. It's 100% wool. Uh, what you can buy here, and I think it's you can buy. It's only in Russia. And also, guys, I want to show you that you can see uh, we have gloves. And if you live in a hot uh, region, maybe you have never seen, guys. This is uh, varishki. Varishki means you can see when. Uh, your four fingers together because uh, perchatki, это перчатки, gloves, uh, when uh, your fingers separate, but this is uh, варежки, варежки, keep all your fingers uh, together. And it's really important because uh, when in Russia it's uh, very cold and the temperature can be minus 20, minus 30, so it's very important to wear this. So guys, let's continue and to see what else we have on this market. As you know, we Russian people, we crazy lovers of uh, barbecue. In Russian language, we say шашлыки. And here, guys, you can see, you can buy all uh, products for making barbecue. No, for example, это уголь, это мангал. So all these things you need to prepare the barbecue. Yeah, and of course uh, these kind of things. So we call it shampura, shampura. Uh, so we take it for using uh, meat here, and uh, all, a lot of spices, grill things. Uh, so very important. So every Russian person, if he wants to go to barbecue, he come here. So here you can buy fresh meat, and uh, you can buy all stuff for making a barbecue. Здравствуйте. Uh, oh, you speak English? So, so. Oh, okay, hello. <laughs> if you speak English, it'll be better. So, could you tell, please, uh, where is, uh, where from uh, these products? These products is from Voronish. From Voronish. Yes. Uh, what kind of uh, meat do you have here? Ah, I see. Baranina, lamb, да? Ah, beef, okay. Yeah, so guys, you can see here very friendly uh, sales people, so they also speak English. Uh, so if you f don't speak Russian, people will understand you. We can choose what kind part of body of cow we buy. Mm -hmm. Так, pig, beef, lamb, а есть курица, chicken. Mm -hmm. It's home chicken. Ah, home no fabric. chicken. No fabric. No fabric. No fabric. Mm -hmm. How much? 400, 400 rubles per kilo. One kilo. One kilo. One kilo. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. It's chicken soup. It's yeah. chicken... Uh... Yeah. 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 Fire. Fire. <laughs> English class. <laughs> school level. Bad school level. Yeah. No, no, you speak, uh, speak English well. Don't worry. <laughs> It's for soup, 400 rubles. 400 rubles. Beef without bones, 700 rubles. 700. Mm -hmm. It's a mini bones, uh, 600. 600. Ah, with, with mini, bones. Mini bones. Ah, why with bones it's uh, cheaper? Ah, no, because bones we don't eat. It's Ljaška. Uh, Bidro. S. <laughs> Nine hundred. <laughs> so, and if people ask you about discount, do you give discount? Скидки? Uh, it's uh, minimum. Ah, minimum. Yeah. The, the lowest price. Скидки только для пенсионеров. Ah, for pen, for people who is uh, retired, they can ask about discount. Пенсионеры мы бесплатно бывают. Ah, some. Да, кому можно помогаем бесплатно. Ой, какие вы молодцы. Красивые девушки. Да. Красивая девушка. Не знаю, я вот такая красивая, но красивая. никто ничего не дает. Самое главное, чтобы умная. Вот это больше цель. Oh, спасибо. So he said it's good that I'm smart, not only beautiful. Так, а что еще? Все, да, мы пока... все показала я. А, вот, вот. Вот, за это можно продать все. Это сало. А сало how much? Six hundred. One kilo. One kilo six hundred. Also, let's have a look here. You will see um, eggs and uh, 108 rubles. Uh, and um, here it is a little bit uh, maybe more costly than uh, eggs from supermarket, but this eggs, farmers made this, and that's why it's a little bit maybe costly. Uh, 180, 160 rubles, and 180. And you can see it's writing in the Russian language домашние. Домашние means homemade. This is tvarok. Tvarok is cottage cheese. Also, we Russian people, we very love uh, dairy products. And let's see how much cost tvarok. One kilo, 
200 rubles and also let's compare uh, the, to see the prices how much cost it's in a uh, uh, supermarket. Varok, it's cottage cheese and you can see it cost 105 rubles. Something here can be um, maybe more expensive but always the quality of these things are better than in supermarket. Why Rynak is uh, special and why here uh, a lot of a lot of you can see babushka and uh, people who retire because here you can buy big um, portions like let's say masla you can see here one kilo 650 and masla from Voronish one kilo 350 but if you go to supermarket you will buy 200 grams for the same price so you can see it's much much cheaper and better if you go to supermarket and buy here uh, different kind of products. It's good that if you are friendly and if you are open uh, mind person, you can, uh, you can see like I did communicate with salespeople and they will give you discount. If you are rude, no one give you discount, you will pay more. <laughs> So if I compare uh, where it's better to buy food on supermarket or to buy here in a farmer market, what I can say you guys, so of course if you want to buy fruits, vegetables, meat, uh, dairy products and fish, yes, it's the best to buy it on the market. I understand that it may be you can uh, live far from this place and it will be not so much cold, comfortable because here it's cold, but uh, I think it's the best option because here you can save your money, you will not pay extra, you will find uh, high quality food uh, with uh, nice prices. You can ask about discounts uh, and never accept first price. Uh, you know, we have the rule of sort of the price. So you ask the price, person will tell you, then you can ask discount and last third price will be um, the price which you can uh, fix with the salesperson. And uh, in Russian language we call it Targavatsa. Да, торговаться means when you ask discount. Of course, in supermarket you can't ask a discount. You must pay this price which you see. And guys, if you want to see uh, prices about uh, Russian supermarket, you can click here. Here the video about Russian supermarkets. And also, guys, uh, next video I will do for you when we will visit market. Да, рынок with clothes, guys. Yes, so follow my channel and here you will see how much cost uh, clothes. And the next series of video I will compare uh, prices for clothes in shopping mall and on the market. See you on the next vlogs. Thank you for listening. Bye for now. Пока-пока. Пока-пока.